is the first day of the eight week challenge. I've just got my black shirt on, my lawn arts heights, my Adidas and sweaty shredder. Welcome to sweaty shredder. Hi guys, I'm in a bit of a rush because I am going out tonight, but it is the second day of the challenge and I'm having this snack. I just have 100 grams of lactose free yogurt, 40 grams banana, 5 grams of walnuts, 3 grams of chia seeds, and 3 grams of rice malt syrup, which is like a gluten free honey. So it is day four of the challenge and today I am so sore. I've been really sore for like the past two days. <laughs> Look at this like sweat drip in the middle of my forehead. Oh, right there. <laughs> Burn those calories. Burn that fat. Burn that fat. And I'm feeling really good this morning. I feel like my body's feeling good. I feel like I've kind of changed my body within the past week. My digestion overall feels like so much better. I'm movie Bad Boys and I'm just getting some chocolate to take into the cinema and mum's getting a coffee. And as soon as you start eating unhealthy, you feel like you keep wanting more unhealthy food, which is okay because one day a week like won't hurt. I'm going to be taking these to school and I have been trialing out this adrenal switch for the past week. Pretty much just helps with um, recovering and helping your muscles recover pretty much. I have been eating majority healthy this week, but like I said, I've been eating quite a lot of chocolate and this week I want to completely cut out my chocolate and refined sugar. Okay, excuse my appearance, I look gross. It is like 9.30 at night. But it is the night before the eight week challenge starts. I am actually so excited now. I'm like, I've hyped myself up. I've meal prepped today. I've actually eaten healthy today to prepare myself for tomorrow. So I don't find tomorrow's workout as hard. Tomorrow is the 10th of February, 2020. That's when I start the eight week challenge. I've done eight week challenges in the past, but this will prepare me for London because in exactly eight weeks from tomorrow i am leaving to go to london for my sister's wedding no i'm feeling very excited um nervous for these eight week challenges but i'm actually excited because i've already transformed my body to how i want it to be and i want to stay at the same healthy weight around 50 kilos but i just want to lose a bit more fat and tone a bit more to show more definition this week i will be showing you guys what I ate for the first week of the eight week challenge. I'm gonna make sure I have lots of water throughout this challenge as well. I'm actually doing the Sweat It to Shred It challenge by Sarah's Day. It works amazingly because I can do it at home. I don't actually have to go to the gym and I it's more cardio based and like more body weight exercises, which I think are more better for me. Hi guys, so it is the first day of the eight week challenge i am home i'm in my school uniform at the moment sorry about that <laughs> but i thought i would update you on my day today i had a good day i was going to work out this morning like i told you guys yesterday but i actually ended up sleeping in till like 7 40 and my school starts at 8 15 so i had to rush out of the house by 8 50 i got dressed in like 10 minutes um but i've had all my healthy meals today for breakfast i didn't have anything i just had a black coffee for recess i had an apple and for lunch i had two of my egg muffins like little quiches and with some spinach and a pear with some carrots and then this afternoon I had some protein yogurt, like lactose free yogurt with some walnuts and honey. And then for dinner I'm going to have some spinach, chicken, cucumber, a tiny bit of sweet potato and ricotta. I'm going to finish up my homework over there because in high school you get given a lot of homework and you have to do it <laughs> and then i'm going to take my dog for a walk and then smash out the sweaty shredder the first sweaty shredder um they're always the worst but they're the best ones for you because it really gets your heart pumping because it's cardio i'm all dressed for my workout sorry the fan is really loud in the background i've just got my black shirt on my lawn arts heights 
my Adidas and yeah let's transform this body let's go for a walk and then we will do my workout okay, I've got my Sarah's Day fitness timer sweaty shredder welcome to sweaty shredder feel my body aching I feel like I'm breaking and I know it all too well got another new day still I'm feeling misplaced I keep going down, down, down Too many years going by Caught in an action I can't rewind, oh And in my head I'm screaming But out of my mind I'm still too young To feel this way Still too young To be running out that is my breakfast and lunch for day two of the challenge hi guys i'm in a bit of a rush because i am going out tonight but it is the second day of the challenge and i'm having this snack I just have 100 grams of lactose-free yogurt, 40 grams banana, 5 grams of walnuts, 3 grams of chia seeds, and 3 grams of rice milk syrup, which is like a gluten-free honey. And this has been a really great snack recently, and it's in high in like protein, obviously your carbs and your fats, keeps you full for long, and it's good for like a pre-workout um, snack. Um, I'm actually going to do my workout again tonight and then later this afternoon I'm going out to Thai for dinner and I think I'm just going to get a veggie dish like an, um, an oyster sauce because that doesn't have many calories um, and I won't eat any rice but I'll just eat the veggies with some chicken so yeah. So it is day four of the challenge and today I am so so sore. I've been really sore for like the past two days. And I think that's because I'm not used to like this amount of exercise for like quite a while because I haven't been exercising as much recently. That's why I started the challenge. But like my abs have been on fire like all day long. Like even just to move a little bit or like when I laugh it really hurts. And my legs and butt. But especially my abs like so sore. It's really random. But anyway I have to work out tonight. And tonight's more like a strength. Um toning kind of workout so it'll probably make my ab uh, abs and butt a bit more sore but that's okay because progress and tomorrow I have swimming which is my exercise for the day tomorrow as it is a rest day um and even though I've been on ch the challenge like back to the challenge I haven't been too strict with myself I've been having a piece of chocolate like every day went out to Thai last night for dinner we just got a Thai green curry that's quite healthy I'm trying to be quiet because my brother's sleepy. Had a piece, a row of Cadbury chocolate this afternoon as a snack because I was craving it. I just finished my workout. I did the toning power, which is like a weights kind of workout, and I am so sweaty. My legs are like there's so much like um squats involved and so much pulsing and it's kind of slow and it goes for 50 minutes because it's so much pulsing you get so sore look at my sweat yeah she's sweaty but it feels good to be done my legs are so sore but like it's good because my legs were aching all day and they say when your legs are sore from working out you need to actually work out to get rid of that pain and I think that worked because today like I was saying earlier I was like so much pain my abs and everything all day stretch and then drink the rest of that bottle of water and then have dinner later and my family ordered pizza for dinner and we went out to Thai last night for dinner. I was going to have some. They ordered me a chicken Caesar salad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eat the chicken, the lettuce, some of the egg and bacon maybe. But just not eat the sauces because the sauces are what have all, they have like the main calories in the sauces and hidden sugars 
so I'll just use my own dressing but I'll use the chicken because that's very healthy still but yeah so sweaty feeling good but I'm sore <laughs> look at this like sweat drip in the middle of my forehead oh, right there <laughs> burn those calories burn that fat burn that fat <laughs> That looks so good. No idea. This is my dinner. I have got 30 grams of spinach and 150 grams of the chicken Caesar salad. As you saw, the dressing was on the side. So, no hidden nasties in this one. Morning, guys. I look awful right now, but I'm just keeping this little series real and raw and I'm looking raw because I just got up <laughs> it is Saturday morning and I'm feeling really good this morning I feel like my body's feeling good I feel like I've kind of changed my body within the past week my digestion overall feels like so much better I feel a little bit leaner and I feel like my booty's lifted a little bit abs are kind of starting to pop <laughs> sounds stupid because it's only one weekend but like whatever i'm just having a black coffee i have black coffee every day my favorite today i have to finish some assignments because high school sucks <laughs> and then i think mum and i might be going to watch a movie later on today that bad boys because i really want to see it. it looks really funny i need to do some meal planning tomorrow for obviously the week but I've done four workouts this week plus sport every day at school because I do sport as an elective as well as it being compulsory. So yesterday for my elective class, we did water polo and then um, like paddle, paddle boarding, so stand up paddle boarding. And I've never done paddle boarding before. It is so hard, like trying to stand on the board. But surprisingly, I'm actually all right at it. I can bounce myself okay. Um, and I've had sport every day, so I feel good because I've moved my body, obviously. I feel good. Yeah, hopefully you guys are having a good day as well. Mum and I are at the shops and we're going to go see a movie, Bad Boys. And I'm just getting some chocolate to take into the cinema. And Mum's getting a coffee. And for lunch, we just had some meat and salad. So yeah, it's actually really good because it started raining outside. So I'm excited to see this movie. And there's so many chocolate options. I know it's not healthy to be eating chocolate, but I'm craving it, so it's okay. <laughs> I have made myself a Vegemite and cheese toasty for like late night snack slash dinner. It is, it is 8 o'clock at night and I am eating a cheese toasty and I'm not regretting it. As soon as you start eating unhealthy, you feel like you keep wanting more unhealthy food, which is okay because one day a week like won't hurt. But I just made a gluten-free cheese toasty because my family were all having one and I felt food FOMO so I made myself one and I don't remember the last time I've had a toasty so it feels like fancy but I um had quite a lot of chocolate today like I said and this so that's okay because I'll be getting back on track tomorrow eating healthy because it's Sunday but I feel like one day a week which is good and just wanted to come on here and tell you guys that don't be afraid of having days where you just feel like you eat a lot of food because when you have those days your metabolism kind of like gets kick-started a little bit and it's like your body goes oh my god I need to work harder to burn off that food that I've eaten after your cheat meal like cheat day um, make sure you kind of eat healthier to compensate for the day before um, but yeah, I'm actually so excited to eat the cheese toastery and I'm going to watch some Netflix and then drink a bottle of water before I go down to bed as well because drinking lots of water is really good, especially when you don't eat healthy. So that is my plan for the next hour or so and then I'm going to go to bed.
wanted to show you guys what my main meals for this week are going to be. I actually meal prepped them this week. This just stored them in the container. And in here we have I'm going to be taking these to school and it's just got 100 grams of chicken, zucchini, mixed vegetables, 50 grams of brown rice. And I chose brown rice over white rice because it has more fiber in it and is higher in protein and white rice doesn't sit as well in my stomach as brown rice so i'll be taking these to school every single day and then i have also boiled up some eggs which i can take on the go for breakfast favorites is this jana lactose free yogurt i absolutely love yogurt and i'll just pair it with some fruit just like my bananas here or even some pears or an apple. So got as like a snack. I mean corn thins, sesame corn thins, they're gluten free. There's like only like 69 calories for three of them, which is a really good snack. And I put them with like some peanut butter or almond butter. And then I also have some pr vegan protein powder, which I'll add to a smoothie if I am lacking protein for that day. And then also I have been trialing out this adrenal switch for the past week and what it is is you just put it in some hot water before you go to bed, half an hour before bed and it pretty much just helps with um, recovering and helping your muscles recover pretty much and it also turns on your adrenals which your adrenals are your hormones that help you sleep so this helps to activate that because they say you need sleep in order to have good recovery to, in order to lose weight or gain muscle and it's pretty much just magnesium and magnesium is really important it absolutely tastes amazing and it's made with ashwagandha which is like a natural herb ashwagandha pretty much just switches on your adrenals to help you sleep and recover and it is gluten free, lactose free, soy free and vegan and there's only 12 calories per serving. This absolutely tastes amazing. I've got it in the salted caramel flavour and then I'll just pair it with a teaspoon of cacao powder before bed and it tastes like a caramel hot chocolate. Um, so that's pretty much what I've been doing this week and what I'll be doing next this week coming. Um, I have been eating majority healthy this week, but like I said, I've been eating quite a lot of chocolate and this week I want to completely cut out my chocolate and refined sugars and I feel like my family and friends have been influencing me to eat more chocolate and that this week. So I'm going to try cut out the chocolate and eat very healthy this week and do cardio every single day in the morning and obviously my workouts, which I have to do. Anyway, so yeah, I'm so excited for this week to see my results. Feel my body ache. 